You are untalented, unintelligent, unprofessional. You are Paris Hilton. You're going through in my book. Thank you, gorgeous. Here, listen to this. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Jerry. What's going on? Thanks for that. I yeah, like that. Just that. Whoa. Okay, Jerry. What's going on? I like that. It's a lost cause. <laughs> like, when I do Jay Leno, the, the little hook that I have is that he trails off when he tells a joke. You know, he'll be like, may I get up for this? Yeah. Oh, this is good. How about this? Me about this in papers? Mel Gibson, back in the news. Amazing, amazing. Kevin, how about this? Me about this in papers? Mel Gibson, news in the papers. Kevin, you're the papers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all my parents do now. They sit around the house. They talk about movie stars from their generation who died. And it's always like these obscure names to me. Like, they'll be sitting there like, so did you hear? Myrna Loy died. Mm? 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 <laughs> the pathetic thing is I know in like 50 years I'll be doing this. You know, I'll be sitting there like, you know who just passed away? Vin Diesel. <laughs> and you know who else died the same day? Blossom. Mm, 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 mm. By the way, that right there, that's the difference between Jewish people and black people. It's just a matter of mm mm to mm mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you see? <laughs> Every hip ethnic culture has something funky going on with their necks. You look around, you see the Italians. How you doing, huh? Japanese man, arigato. Ho. Ho. My favorite is the uh, Spanish women's circular neck thing, the whole, yo, 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 listen, all my <laughs> Listen, all my <laughs> It's just, <laughs> it's just white guys that have nothing going on at all with the neck, you know? It's just like, hey, <laughs> how's it going? What's that? <laughs> Thank you. A lot, of, a lot of different cultures, a lot of religions, too many religions. I say it's time we picked a winner. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe like instead of the Oscars, we could have like a big theological awards show, you know, like <laughs> the Theos. <laughs> and the nominees for outstanding religion in an organized, unaffiliated sect are Catholicism, Pope John Paul II, Jesus Christ producer. <laughs> Uh, Judaism, Moses, Steven Spielberg producer. <laughs> It'd be great if Jesus won, though, you know, just to see him give an acceptance speech, you know? Accepting the award for outstanding religion is Jesus Christ, producer. <laughs> oh, wow, this is amazing. There's so many people I want to thank. Uh, first and foremost, my dad. Dad, thank you so much, man. <laughs> we did it. Uh, I want to thank the apostles, uh, Peter, uh, Paul. There's so many of you. If I forget, please forgive me. Um, <laughs> Uh, also, also my writers, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, I want to thank uh, Mary Magdalene for all her love and support, and, and, and Charlie Sheen for introducing us. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I don't want to uh, get all uh, Halle Berry on you people, but uh, I have waited 2,000 years for this. Oh, yeah, and I want to thank all the rappers for thanking me in their acceptance speeches. Yeah, this is going out from JC to JZ. Peace. <laughs> Thank you guys. It's been a blast. Thank you so much. So today I uh, I got shushed at a Barnes and Noble. Now, Barnes and Noble is not a library. It's a store. Don't let the books throw you. This woman, she was shushing me. She was like, shh, there's books here. Shh. I love these little noises that we have to communicate with each other. Like, instead of saying, excuse me, we'll go, psst, psst. You could eliminate whole sentences with just a few little noises. Like, instead of saying, excuse me, would you be quiet? That's very rude, and I'm a little disappointed. You just go, psst, shh. <laughs> I want to I wanna make up my own noise. I'd like to start a new noise. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, from now on, everybody do this. From now on, instead of saying, like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry, from now on, just go like this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? You, like, bang into someone on the street. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> That'll end right there, by the way. And we need, like, a new noise for when a beautiful woman walks by. Guys are still doing that whistling thing. That, that doesn't work. I got, I got something new for that. Beautiful woman walks by. 
That will get their attention, okay? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, their response will still be, oh, you want me? Well, <laughs> And the, uh, the Canadians, are there any Canadians here tonight? Can yeah. Like, yeah, you guys are cool, but you know, you're always copying us. I mean, everything, like that whole, woo, that's ours. <laughs> everything that we, you know, you copy. This is, this is my impression of Canada. I saw the Passion movie. You know the Passion, Mel Gibson's movie? And the Oscars are a few days away, and the Passion got snubbed. And I'll tell you why it didn't get nominated. Because here's a movie about a Jewish guy, and they hired a non-Jewish actor to play the role. Now, I saw the Ray Charles movie. <laughs> you know, it wasn't Matt Damon is Ray Charles. <laughs> great Jewish movie stars that could have played this part, like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Would have been a perfect Jesus. Um, uh, fishes and loaves. Uh, they're, they're good, they're very good, but also nutritious. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe like, uh, maybe like uh, David Schwimmer, you know, from Friends, David Schwimmer is either. Um, okay. <laughs> so why have you, like, um, forsaken me, Rachel? <laughs> Here's one. Howard Stern as Jesus, Howard Stern. Oh, <clears throat> uh, well, this is very exciting. Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, I am not afraid of the Romans. It's the FCC that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, what are you, a teacup? <laughs> and, uh, thank you. My personal favorite choice, though, would be Gene Wilder as Jesus. <laughs> you want to do what? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? No, I will not, no, no, no. It's not easy to have sex at the in-laws' house because they're like two rooms down, you know, and you don't want them to hear you. So, like, my wife and I, we pretend we're having a big argument during sex. So all they hear is like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, don't give me that. You're gonna give me that? You're gonna give me that now? Okay, okay, that is low. That is so low. Yeah, lower. That's right, lower. Yeah. All right, all right, fine, good, good. Just rub it in now, why don't you? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you know what? I can't believe the position you're taking on this. Look at you, you're totally turning this around. You're turning it around. That's right, turn it around. That's right. Yeah, well, you know, you know what we need in here? I'll tell you what we need, a third party to settle this. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, well, that's it. I am gonna blow my top, okay? Oh, come on now! Come on now! Then, uh, oh, thank you, guys. Oh, yeah! Thanks for straightening those, Skylar. I really do love that rack. Yeah, well, it certainly holds the magazines. I, uh, wasn't talking about that rack. <laughs> oh. What were you talking about? What do you think I was talking about? Were you perhaps talking about this?